Hey everybody, Ryan here, bringing on another Starcraft commentary. I am, after having recovered from the awesomeness of the first match, which took a little over a day because I think I was frothing at the mouth for about 24 hours after having witnessed that game. So now I have recovered and I'm going to bring you the second set, which is going to be Iris against Junie. I've seen Junie play one game this season, which he won against Gigi Play on Battle Royale. One of the new maps, but now is ZVT is actually one of his worst matchups, so I think he's going to be in a lot of trouble against the Berserker here. Iris being an overall solid guy. Four, three, two, one, go. So, uh, this is going to be on a hard track bridge, and I definitely got to give Iris an advantage here. This looks like a map that Terrence would be rather comfortable on. There's a lot of cheese opportunities, a lot of stuff going on, so we're just getting positions out of the way. Iris is going to be in purple, violet, whatever the heck that is, at the 9 o'clock, while we're going to have Junie at, in red as the Zerg at the 3 o'clock. Iris, of course, playing Terran, if I haven't mentioned that so far. So yeah, Iris being, of course, the player for CG Entis here, and Junie being the player for Samsung Khan, and CG Entis are 1-0 ahead. So... <clears throat> this map, I mean, you got you haven't looked at the statistic yet, but overall build of the match, I gotta say that this map looks like pretty good for Terran. They can kind of hold themselves up inside of their own base, which is very easy choke to hold inside of your main. As quite a larger choke outside of your natural, but if you can hold it, you can hold the two bases for quite a while. It's staying in a pretty good position. Getting a third base is a little bit more difficult and to defend that, but overall, a pretty good base, a pretty good map to push out, you can plant buildings over the place, if you're gonna go for cheese, that's a wonderful map for that, the chance of getting spotted is rather difficult, the, your opponent is gonna have to send out more than one scout to possibly spot your cheese, what, spot your cheese wherever the heck you're gonna put it, although I must say, uh, for the Zerg side, this map looks to be a killer, killer, uh, Mutalisk map, um, I'm gonna, I wanna give thanks to Ariels, the player, the American, the player that, uh, Starcraft player, Ariel is the Starcraft player, for his, well, kind of analysis, you could say, I was on Kenny's talk show about Starcraft, which he has up, I definitely think you should guys should go check that out, go to SC2GG to find out more about that, we had the first episode, but unfortunately it was not recorded, we had the first episode up, and we got to ask Ariel's, and alongside actually some other pro, uh, not pro gamers, but uh, very good American players, some questions, ooh, Junie barely there, Almost didn't get the scout inside, was a little bit harassed, but he's actually going to get the drone inside there because the such a large distance travel for the overworld, he's going to get, overworld will get there quite a bit late. But yeah, we got to ask some questions, and I got to ask Ariel's around what what is he think Mutalus is going to be on this map, and he definitely agrees with what I, uh, what I thought, that the natural has ridges all over the place, there's a gigantic ridge in the back, and there's just plenty, plenty of space to get some flying into Juni Micring is drawing around pretty well, just trying to be a pain in the ass, trying to see if he can damage the SV enough, but I think Iris now has plenty of SVs around to finally prevent them from happening enough. I think finally just now sending out an SV scout, and Juni opposite side apparently went I for what I believe was a 12 hat, uh, 12 pool, either 12 pool or over pool, didn't quite spot what that was. I believe that was, I believe that was 12 pool 11 gas. Yes. So probably gonna see a hatchery coming in from soon. First a uh, marine out now. Finally for Iris, so he's definitely gonna push that out. And actually gonna go for a factory. So he's indeed gonna go for a mech build, uh, mining plenty of gas so far. So you might be thinking of going for some vulture asthma. But yeah, I was saying, Mutalisk. Mutalisk I think is the best option for Zerg because uh, at the natural expansion you have a lot of space. Uh, in the west and in the south, just fly around, and you can also just fly outside pretty much any direction as long as you don't fly into the main where there could be turrets and just waiting for you. If your opponent, if Iris doesn't plant down enough turrets in there, he's going to be a lot in trouble. So, Lair coming up, very quick Lair from Juni, so I'm not even sure if he put down his hatchery at his natural, I believe he has done that, but he's getting that very quick, and only one marine from Iris, I believe there might be one in the natural while Iris now getting the SCV scout all over the place, and I believe that, yes, that probably is a sunken morphing in, so it is the prevent the vulture has from bringing it to effective, but I just get the, gets the spot on all this, I think he saw the sunken, he probably gets the spot, gets the full spot on this, here we're gonna see now what Junie sent out one drone probably to help mine at the north, and we're going to see what kind of tech decision going to go for. I think Iris, with the way he's mining, he's actually going to be able to spot the fully starport coming in from Iris. So one single spot, starport. We're going to see whether it's going to be a, a dual port build or not. I've seen Lita do that quite a bit, going for two port wraiths and being very, very effective with that strategy. Micro's wraiths, very significant. So actually, uh, no, only one single starport as well as an expansion. So this has the looks of, of uh, 
the drop tech. Spire now coming up. We're going to see what Iris manages to spot the tech before it pops in. We're going to see. Uh, might be thinking that Juni might spot that in. Oh, didn't get. There is the Spire and the Hydra's Den at the same time. Probably didn't spot that. Probably got his, his taken out before that happened. The controls are coming out from the spar starport, so it is going to be a drop. Um, not seeing anything produced yet from the factory. So, okay, never mind. there are vultures on the ground. So it is most likely going to be some vulture drops coming in. Barracks also been floating in a slightly more comfortable position. Does not uh, doesn't feel it necessary to block his rap anymore. Armory also very quick armory coming in. So this might actually be something a little bit different. I'm gonna see whether we're gonna see some Valkyries in the air or not. Uh, Spire is gonna be ready. Hydra is coming around. So Juno might be going for Hydra. Uh, Hydra mutal mutal worker. I'm sorry, Hydra. What mutal worker? Let's see if that is indeed his strategy or not. Machine shop going around. I assume that's either for speed or mines for those vultures. Yeah, mines are already ready, so it's probably speed. So we can have those vultures fully effective. Uh, there are some hydras in the position there for Uni to help defend, though. And his commands are almost coming in for Iris in a dropship also. So he's going to be able to drop those vultures fairly soon. Has quite a few vultures down in the field. And I think his main is most definitely vulnerable. His main is very vulnerable. Almost no force is there. If he drops inside of the main of Juni, Juni is going to be in a lot of trouble. I don't think he spotted this dropship. And I definitely don't think he's ready for Engineer But you know, also coming on the opposite side for Iris. Because he's going to be getting ready for some mutals that have come his way. Now the dropship coming in. I don't think it all works part in the drop. This drop could be very effective. Three vultures. Nothing inside of the main to defend. These three vultures are going to rain death upon the economy of Juni's right here. They're going to go in. Don't have speed or anything. Just going to go and start killing drones. Drone going to be pulled off the line a little bit late. Mutalus is finally in position. Morphing in a little bit late. A lot of damage being done. Mutalus coming in from the natural expansion as well. So finally Juni has enough. But Iris now knows this coming his way. So he's going to just run around with those vultures. Finally has speed on those. So he's going to keep those vultures inside of the main and the natural as long as he can. To make sure that Juni's forced to use his Mutalus to kill them all. He himself, Iris that is sets up some defenses and is actually has another drop ship that is going to fly in from the south putting on missile turrets all over the place meanwhile I'm not seeing a lot of other defenses I think okay actually yes he is does actually have a Valkyrie in the air so along with turrets he, he should be going for another Valkyrie if he has two Valkyries along with turrets maybe I mean, a Goliath, he would really help him defend because he does have a Goliath on the ground as well. And now going to be the Vulture either to see whether Mutalus is actually going to be able to do a lot. No, they're going to be thrown back. While Iris has dropped again Vulture instead of the natural. He has those mines put, being put down everywhere just in case. So those Hydras can't move back because I just have to be very careful against those mines. Drop ship. Probably going to go down to this Mutalus though. Not going to be running, be able to run to safety. But that's okay. Iris has done a lot of damage with these uh, Vultures here. Still keeping them inside of the main. Mine almost going off on those hydras again going in getting another drone kill and another drone kill one vulture this last vulture is going to go down before it gets a third no it does get another vul <laughs> drone kill wow Ju and oh Juni's economy is in shambles at this point it's horrible he has almost no drown saturation inside of his natural inside of his main I'm sorry his natural is doing still fine but Iris has a lot of mining everywhere he has two Valkyries out in the field has a few Goliaths on the ground adding in more missile turrets Third Valkyrie coming down. This kind of looks like kinda almost like a modified fantasy build. And on that note, I want to tell you guys go to uh, Nuke the Stars' account, um, my frequent partner in StarCraft, you could say, my frequent dueling partner, and he has commentated on SKT1. Well, one game of SKT1 versus Quasing Oz being fan fantasy versus Jano. If you don't mind the set spoiled and just want to watch the best games, go that. It's the it's a rematch of the Bot2 OSL. And it's a very good game overall. And I got to spoil the results with a wonderful game overall. And I highly recommend you go watch that. So now Juni thinking of coming in again. He has some Scourge alongside his Mutalus to take care of those Valkyries. But Valkyries are being hidden very well by Iris. While he also has those Goliaths. This kind of does almost not quite look like Fantasy. <laughs> Fantasy's everything built. Oh, okay, I'm talking about things that you guys won't understand. Uh, it's a comment taken from Nuke.